again, hello everybody, welcome to this, my thoughts on Wolfenstein 2. I'm going to so point out what I'll say what I like first, and then say what I dislike after. Start off with good things I like, cut the combat itself. Got good combat, me too. Enemies don't drop down like little flyers, but neither do you. Unless you're playing like Mind Liber or whatever it's called, that difficulty. I like the dual wielded gunplay. Let me show it. Okay, that's that a ramshack of that by my contraption. Ooh. Ooh. Where I'll get around there, I think it was there. The double gunplay is quite good when I can actually show it off. The gunplay of the heavy guns, great shit as well. Let's give it a little go. I enjoy the really enjoy the gunplay this game. I enjoy the upgrade system as well. I like the perks, like see how one kills you get more ammo in it. The dual wields you get more ammo for guns. Combat takedowns you get with more genuine health. Ram shot kills, increasing more armor drops, like stuff like that rewards you for good stuff. Weapon upgrade systems are quite good. Pistol has base with like a magnum like same magazine suppressor. That's like your wife, which gives you a marks and scope, which makes it a, a DMR, which is good. Your armor piercing. Your double mags. I mean, my favorite's this, which is the ricochet and shotguns. I mean, you got two of these. Oh boy. The Nazis better hope to fucking god they ain't near ya. Also, I'm trying to get the ramshackle. I mean, that guy's arm just came off. Mm. But that, that's brutal as fuck. No, the contraptions add a new variety of gameplay to the game compared to the previous two. Let's go into all the mediocre things I, I wouldn't say I hate about the game, but there's also things I don't thoroughly enjoy about the game as well. Level design. I mean, some levels are grey. Some honestly are just fucking shy. You know, they all. Some of the levels are just they hit and miss. So many enemies are hit and miss as well. Like the enemies are hit and miss as well. Like I don't know. I love the idea of some of them. Like the robot and stuff like well here's a robot you know oh you're here behind the robot so like the panzer hounds but sometimes i don't because i just feel forced in just just you know just, let's just have a panzer hound here or a panzer hound there kind of feeling to them
Alright, well, let's go into the stuff I hate about. The, well, not hate, but you know, dislike. Would be a better word. So, where is it? I'm trying to think really about what I dislike. I mean, aside from the story, because to be honest. Ooh, it's story. Mm. It's quite bad. Like, I'll be frank with the story, it's shit. No, I mean. I'd much rather have just had them not hype race and the communist guy. Then, you know, and have an actual good, you know, like resistance leader. Race and good school, one Nazi in the epilogue, which honestly kind of takes all the hype I could have had for that. I also hate how to just tell you stuff happens that I'd be like Oh, oh yeah, Louisiana mm, Not Louisiana, who's Louisiana? Yeah, oh New Orleans coming back to one New Orleans in Louisiana, I'm not sure about main job, but you know I'm going about all oh, these places, you know, a prison camp for black people, gays, Jews and stuff and they actually They don't show you anything, they just show you a few corpses, that's it, and just you just kill Nazis in the level. I also hate the communist guy. I, I, from what I remember about him, he, he's very boring and just vexes me. I also hate fucking Enigma Terminal bullshit. I enjoy the kill board, don't get me wrong, just getting around to kill Nazis like... This geezer. But f fuck that, fuck that. I'm gonna keep Greetings. Yeah, look, some of these things. Look, there's Grace, by the way. I know the comics guy is. Hello, Mr. Biddy. You collect the comics? I did! I met the creator of the incredible tank man once. She's not my first issue. Look. I can't remember the bell. I'm trying to remember something about him. I remember fuck all some of the preacher or some shit or was. I also hate the epilogue to the game. Biggest pile of wank I've seen. I hope this bitch up. But the, 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 the fight beforehand on the last mission to before you end the mission to go after her is great. But that doesn't make a good ending to the game. And now for my final thoughts on the game. Should you play it? If you like FPS games and you like blowing shit up and just be and just being able to just kill Nazis and shit like you know, uh, but COD World War Two promised us be able to do. Yeah, it's fun for that reason. Would I buy it full price? No. I buy it when it's on sale or something. I buy it when it's you know half price, seventy five percent off. You know. D d d don't buy this game full price, it's not worth it full price. I've got 16 hours to complete in total so far, and I think probably most of that time spent in Manhattan just going to get fucking grey. So being like, go, go get these nuclear codes, none of the cool shit you ever hear about, like this or. This place here, Venus, yes, yeah, you go to Venus. I'm not going to be in Y, because I'm not an asshole. But yeah, they don't, yeah, you don't get to do much time there. You spend, I think, two chap, two, two, three chapters there. Great mechanics there, great fun, great location, had great combat arenas. 
yeah, Manhattan. Hit, very hit and miss. There's probably one of the most exposed places in this game. It's grey and it's bleak. It's like Fallout 3 colour palette, but fucking worse. And, and when you play Fallout 3, you'll know what I mean. But anyway, that'll conclude my video on Wolfenstein 2. Stay safe out there and whatnot, you know. And, and also, look, we can finally, look, at least we can see his legs, so that gets, that's the plus point there.